What's up my fighters and welcome to Dragon Ball Legends again. My name is Rami the Archer and today my friends we are going to take a look at everything that we got after the new update today and there is some important information that you need to know about the new banner Legends Hybrids Fall 3 so make sure that you watch the video till the end. But before we start if you are new here and you want to stay updated with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and with that being said let's just get started. So first of all the Ultra Space Time Rush is actually on again and as you can see you can now uh, farm the Rush Limited summon tickets again and try your luck in the Rush Limited banner. And the second thing that we have is actually a new Legends Road character, Legends Road Restart. And as you can see it is actually Team Gohan and it works actually the exact same as any Legends Road character. So I am not going to explain a lot of things here because everything that is here you know it actually. The only thing that we are going to take a look at is uh, Gohan's abilities, if he is useful or not. So his special move is pretty disappointing. It is again the same freaking Masinko. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway his main ability applies the following effects to allied uh, tag hybrid saiyan 25% to damage inflicted for 30 timer counts which is really nice 50% uh, to key recovery for 30 timer counts plus 25% to damage inflicted uh, for 30 timer counts uh, if character Videl or character Goten is a battle member. So his main ability is pretty amazing actually, especially if you have Videl and, or Goten in the, uh, in the battle with you. However, his special skill uh, plus 20% to, to strike damage inflicted by allies uh, for 20 timer counts which is really nice and shortens allies substitution counts by 3. So from his abilities you can see that he is a supportive type unit so his damage won't be that high but still his abilities are really awesome. However, his Z ability plus 24% to tag to tag Hybrid Saiyan or tag uh, Legends Road base strike defense. And by the way, this is I believe that uh, I believe that this is actually on three stars. It's not on five stars or seven stars. Uh, however, his unique ability applies the following effects to self depending on the number of timer counts elapsed from battle start. So 20 times 20 counts elapsed plus 30% to strike damage inflicted, 40 counts elapsed plus 20% to damage inflicted, 60 counts elapsed plus 30% to damage inflicted which is really nice as well. However his damage won't be that high I believe so it's not a very big difference actually but we will find out once we use him if he is uh, as good with his attacks as with his abilities actually. However his second unique ability, Latent Talent, the following effects occur when, when this character enters the battlefield, plus 25% to damage inflicted by allied tag Hybrid Saiyan uh, for 20 timer counts and increased arts card draw speed by 1 level for 15 timer counts and restores 15% uh, of damage received after enemy attack is over which is really cool actually that's a very nice ability as well so as you can see his abilities are really nice and I believe that he is worth actually the farm he is worth it because his abilities his supportive abilities are really amazing and I really like them however as you can see we have two new equipments as well. The first equipment Super Gohan, uh, base strike defense 6 to 15 and then one of the two uh, either base blast attack from 5 to 15 or base blast defense from 5 to 15 so if you get actually the base blast attack it would be nice but the base blast defense as well would be very good actually for the defensive type units there is so many defensive type units that are hybrid characters actually however the third slot is from 2 to 5 percent to strike attack per hybrid saiyan which is really nice however the th the second one gohan conquers as you can see the first one is base blast defense 5 to 20.50 uh, 
uh, uh, and then the second one is base blast attack 6 to 15 and the third one is 5 to 10 to strike attack when an element yellow or element red character is a battle member so this one won't stack i believe but the the first one this one will stack per hybrid saiyan actually so basically the second one is pretty nice actually because it gives you only blast attack it doesn't give you blast defense instead of it and then it gives you strike attack as well which is really cool however the first one is a little bit better for the defensive type units and that's us uh, and the hybrid science has so many of them so both of them are good in their own way and our third event is autumn adventure and as you can see we are going to collect some fallen leaves and those fallen leaves we are going actually to be able to exchange for three different uh, rewards the first one is slot remover the second one is 30% uh, master pack 2 and the third one is master pack 2 however there is some rewards some other rewards actually for completing missions that has to do with this event and those missions will give us the following rewards granted master pack 3 uh, ticket 30% uh, master pack 3 master pack 3 ticket and granted master pack uh, 2 ticket and 30% uh, master pack 2 ticket so those are the rewards that we are going to get from this event we are going to get some slot removers we are going to get actually master pack 2 30% increase increasing for sparking and we are going to get actually the uh, normal master pack 2 and master pack 3 uh, tickets and we are going actually to get the 30% increasing sparking rate uh, uh, master pack 3 and the granted master pack 3 as well so those are some really amazing rewards to be honest and the best thing about them there is no master pack 1 <laughs> <laughs> finally there is no master pack one anyway as you can see there is actually some bonus characters as well which are the the lineage of evil and there is five specific characters that they gave you that will give you enormous success rate which are actually the uh, transforming cooler the final form cooler lord shield first form cooler and actually the pod of Riza, because those characters has the tag which will give you actually enormous success rate and you can have the high level on them as well which is the large success rate and they have actually the best element as well which is the moderate success rate and that makes them actually have all three bonuses which will give them actually the best success rate between all of the other characters however this is pretty much everything that you need to know about this event as well so let's go now and talk about our new banner and why there is some some very important information that you need to know about it all right my fighters so here we are with our banner legends hybrids fall 3 and uh, as you can see this banner has actually some good characters and then comes actually the big bait in the red you can read one sparking character granted that's nothing actually new but then freebie multi z powers in the consecutive summon this is the very first time they give us actually those multi z powers for free which is really cool however some people think actually okay i am going to do a multi if i get one of the good characters that would be very nice if i don't get at, at least i am going actually to get the multi z power and i will power up my characters so some of you might think actually okay if i get the purple one i am going to power up my super vegeto and by that i won't need actually to summon in his banners because I will be able actually to power up him with those uh, multi z powers well unfortunately my friend this won't work because if you read the rules those multi z powers uh, can't be used actually on characters that you don't have so if you don't have the character don't even think about it <laughs> And unfortunately some characters including Shallot, Legends Limited characters, pretty much any legendary finish character including uh including uh, Beros as well although he isn't a legendary finish character but he is still Legends Limited character and event exclusive characters 
can't use the multi z power so if you have in mind that you are going to get the red one and power up your uh, super your super saiyan 2 legendary finish gohan unfortunately forget about that or any other one not even the legendary finish goku all of them are leg legends limited characters and unfortunately those multi z powers won't work on them otherwise if you have any other characters that aren't actually shallot or legends limited characters or event exclusive characters then you can actually use your uh, use those multi z powers on and don't forget that there are actually only 30 z powers so it's not that high and they are called hybrid saiyan so i don't know actually i didn't use them and i don't know if it is like that or not but i believe that those multi z powers will work only on hybrid saiyans so if you aren't planning actually on powering up your hybrid science characters and you have something else in your mind i wouldn't actually recommend you to take the risk and do those summons because those multi z powers might be a very big disappointment for you however this is what i wanted actually to tell you on this banner make sure to keep that in mind once you uh, decide whether you want to summon or not uh, and by the way as for the characters as you can see we have actually the uh, Trunks teen the transforming one which is a very nice character but unfortunately he is very nice for 50 timer counts and then he is destroyed however we have actually the super saiyan 3 gotenks which is an amazing defensive type unit and a great faint character so if you want a, a character like that that would be absolutely amazing character actually for you and and then we have actually the Super Saiyan Gohan who is a perfect defense defender as well. He is a very very good defensive type unit and uh, his defense is incredibly amazing. So if you want a defensive type uh, hybrid character as well that would be absolutely amazing for you. However there is the ultimate Gohan which is a very good character when it comes to blast attacks. But he isn't actually that useful in PvP anymore. Uh, however his rescue is absolutely amazing so if you want a rescue character he will be very useful however I wouldn't recommend you to use him because he isn't as useful as before actually right now however we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan which I don't know what is he doing in this banner actually because he is a very old character and a very useless character as well so pretty much this is one of the uh, very useless characters and then comes the other useless character super saiyan goten and then comes the third one as well super saiyan tranks so those three characters are very useless this honey pan this is actually much better than some of these barking characters in this banner <laughs> <laughs> this one is much better than the three ones uh, that I spoke about actually uh, before her and then we have the Tranks who is a meh he is good and he is bad actually and we have the other Tranks as well which is the same uh, in the same position so basically if you ask me should you summon in this banner or not I will say absolutely not absolutely don't summon in this banner because the characters in this banner aren't actually the greatest and we are very close for black friday and uh, we don't know what we are going to get on black friday but most likely it will be rosé and if you if we get rosé and you summoned in a banner like that you are going to be very disappointed so i would recommend you actually to wait until the uh, black friday and then uh, decide whether you want to spend your your chrono crystals or not however this banner will actually last until the 27th of uh, november and the black friday will be on the 29th so unless they decide to leave the uh, uh, information until the last day you should be able to decide whether you want to spend your chrono crystals actually on this banner or on the black friday banner and as you know other than the black friday banner we have the ultra space time summon uh, 18 as well i put the uh, scatter uh, the scans the v jump scans in the community tab if you didn't check it make sure to check it actually uh, you will see that we are we, we are going to get actually two new characters and one of them is this the dragon ball uh, super broly bardock 
the bardock from that movie and he looks absolute fire i don't know who you want actually from the two characters that we are going to get but i am mostly hyped about bardock because i really like bardock and i want to see actually his abilities and move set and i can't wait to see them however this is pretty much everything for today so thank you for your time for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.